hello guys so welcome back to malik jo 34 channel this is malik arjun so we are currently dealing with the control file uh, corruption or control file lost scenarios wherein in our uh, uh, yesterday's class we have seen the the first cases when when you have a multiplex control file and one of the control file got lost or corrupted how you can restore it so that that's a very uh, pretty straightforward like you know just uh, copying back your original like existing control file to the, the the last control file location or you can modify your control underscore file uh, files to the, the existing control file and then you can start your uh, um, you know uh, database right so that's pretty straightforward so we have seen that particular uh, scenario so in this today's session we are going to see about the if you lose all the control files irrespective of what, whatever the multiplex you have it whatever the multiplex number you have it so if you lose all the control file and how you can restore it using flash recovery area so remember i'm not dealing with any recovery catalog i'm just using the flash fra uh, flash recovery area right so uh, i have two options one is restoring using uh, auto backup of control file if enabled and if you don't if you're not enabled the auto backup of control file how you can deal with these are the two scenarios i'm going to demonstrate in this today's class so before i get started with the technical discussion so if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik jyoti and then please do subscribe if you like my videos please share like and comment and if you missed out my previous videos you can always refer it in my youtube channel so let's see uh, the case number two uh, lost all the control files and how you can recover it using fra not the recovery catalog so option one uh, when you enable your auto backup of control file how you can restore it or uh, option two when you have not enabled your auto backup of control file how you can restore it let's see option one uh, assuming that we have enabled our control file auto backup and then uh, you know how you can restore it so if you see my currently uh, my database is control file is multiplexed as control 01 and control 02 and control 01 is in Vara data and control 02 is in flash recovery area let me connect back to my database and uh, do this particular command show parameter control underscore files you can see control 1 is in Vara data location and control 2 is in FRA location right so then uh, we will uh, simulate uh, by uh, you know uh, removing both the control files assuming that i lost all the control files i'll just remove my both the control files rm or removed control file one rm removed control file two now rm see both the control files are got deleted now so now i'll try to shut immediate I will get an error message that you know unable to open the control file you can see here unable to open the control file so I don't have any other option so my both the control files are got corrupted or got deleted from the voice so uh, nothing no operation can be able like uh, even if I do uh, you know uh, any operation if I wanted to do it uh, I will not be able to store any information since uh, you know uh, my both the control files are got deleted my database is not a uh, healthy condition right so i will not be able to shut down or i will not be able to bounce my database so i'll do shut about right my database is went down now and then if i try to start it again i will not be able to do it because it will look for a control file and then it will uh, it will say that unable to identify the control file and it will throw an error message or a double zero two zero five right so in that case how you can restore it so as i said like i have two options one is uh, you know this particular scenario is uh, i'll recover it using fra location and uh, assuming that first scenario is uh, you know uh, auto backup is enabled so restore control file if just start you know database in no mount mode I start up no mount it's already in no mount and i will just connect to armen prompt and then i'll just so you can see database not mounted it is just no mount mode and i'll do restore control file from auto backup you can see you using using target database control file instead of recovery catalog so it will use target database recovery catalog target database control file instead of recovery catalog and using this particular auto backup 
and this is auto backup uh, backup piece and you know the restore of my control file is completed you can see control file 0 1 control file 0 to both are you know restored so after that you know once you restore it and try to open your database with a reset log it will fail because your database is in not in mount mode it is in no mount mode i'll see it so i'll just go to sql prompt instead of rmen i will try to do it you can see database is not mounted right so alter database open reset log is not successful because database is not mounted so then i will try to mount it and then again i will try to open database in with reset log alter database mount my database will go to mount mode now because i have both the control file got restored see database is altered and it went to mount mode and i will try to do it alter database open reset log again i'll get an error message you can see alter database open reset log one you can see file one needs more recovery to be consistent right system data file is you know ahead of my uh, you know whatever the control file i restored it so in order to make it consistent with the system data file i need to uh, recover my database right so next command is recover database and then open reset logs recover database right once you do recover database recovery session cancelled due to error sorry i need to do it in arm and prompt sorry for that recover catalog right so recover database right it is all it is applying all this backup pieces you can see it is reading all this like catalog these files and then it will start applying all the archive logs you can see all these archive logs it is applied and recovery finished and then now you can do alter database open reset logs now you will be able to open your database alter database open reset log now your database will go up to open mode see database open now right so the the point to be remember here is you know you you just need to mention restore control file from the auto backup so you you were uh, you know uh, armian will take a latest backup of your uh, latest auto backup of your control file and it will restore it so once you restore your control file the other point is you have to open your database with the reset logs you will not be able to open database with the normal ultra database open once you restore your control file the only option is you have to reset open database with reset logs and the other other point to be uh, noted here is once you restore your control file you have to do recover your database without recovering database it will not you will not be able to open your database okay so i'll quickly go to the option 2 that when you have not enabled your control auto backup of control file then how you restore it so i have mentioned three points here control file auto backup off doesn't mean that you don't have a control file backup right what what that mean armen will default backup your control file any time you backup of your data file one that is system data file if you take a system data file backup armen will default take a control file backup irrespective of whether your auto backup is enabled or not i can see i just give i i just taken the uh, uh, data file one backup here backup data file one you can see starting this particular uh, channel and it started my uh, data file backup and the moment once data file backup completes it will start control file and sp file auto backup right you can see here right it will it will default it like whether whether you enable your auto backup of control file on or off it will take uh, you know uh, backup of my uh, control file so i'll just quickly show you here i'll just connect to our main target show all you can see here right uh, where is that uh, con configure control file auto backup off file do off right show all you can see configure control file auto backup is off now i'll try to take uh, you know backup of data file 1 so default it should take my control file backup as well 
right it is started reading my system data file you can see here backup piece and this is my this is the tag and this is the backup piece and you can see backup set complete elapsed time this much and starting database data file full backup set and specifying the data file in backup set and including current control file in backup set and including current sp file in backup set so irrespective of whether you you are auto uh, auto backup of control file is on or off so you know when you take a system data file backup it will take your control file backup as well a control file and sp file right so now i got my uh, backup here backup is where is the backup is okay here it is a backup right so i will take this particular uh, you, you should know this particular backup location then only you know you will be able to restore your control file so i'll just put this particular control file backup is here right so now what i will do um i will connect to rmain and i will start database in no mount my database i will just exit ps and ef grep s mount Oh, sorry ps ef grep s1 so my database is uh, up and running here so i will simulate the failure by uh, removing both the both the control files show parameter control these are the two control files i will just verify it one more time show parameter oh sorry show parameter control file Right, these are the two control files one is on vara data one is on fra so i will remove both the control files now and I'll start with the recovery. Exit RM. Oh. RM. Right, so I'll remove other control file as well. RM. So both the control files are removed now. So now if I do shut immediate, I'll not be able to do it since I lost both the control file. See both the control files, it is not able to open, it's not able to read, and I will not be able to shut down. I will do shut about. Then, you know, as I say, like I'm um, using option 2 without enabling your control file. How you can restore? You should know your, uh, you know, uh, the control file location. When you take your system uh, data file backup, by default, it will take your control file backup, and you should know that control file backup location. As you saw just now, I just took a control file backup here, and then it took uh, in this particular backup piece, I have my control file. So I will restore using that particular backup piece. So then I will uh, do Armen and start up no mount. I will do first start up no mount. Start up no mount and then I will connect to Armen and I will do restore control file from this particular backup piece. Exit Armen target slash and then restore control file from this particular backup piece because i know this particular backup piece having my control file you can see here control file one and control file two both got restored here even though this this particular backup piece is uh, my data file backup and that system data file backup and that has my control file included in that right control files is restored and i'll do alter database mount alter database mount i will be able to mount my database because i have my both the control files right control data file is a database is mounted now now i can do recover database and i can open database with alter reset, uh, reset logs recover database right these are the backup pieces and it applying all the rk logs right recovery finished and then i will do alter database open reset logs right database is altered and database is open now if i do select star or select name comma open underscore mode 
from VDollar database. See, my database is in read write mode. So, again, if I verify both the control files, show parameter control underscore file or control underscore files, you can see both the control files it is pointing now. So, these are the two options you can restore it uh, from your file location. So, this, this particular scenario is uh, basically talks about uh, this one. If you lose your control file, how you can restore it using FRA instead of recovery catalog. So, I have simulated both these scenarios. When you enable your uh, auto backup of control file and when you have not enabled your auto backup of control file, in both the cases, how you can restore your control files. So, in tomorrow's session, I'm going to uh, simulate uh, the same control file restore scenario using recovery catalog instead of FRA. So, thank you guys.